Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking to you about how to decide between a master's degree or a PhD or PsyD in industrial organizational psychology. I um, have a master's degree in industrial organizational psychology and I have a doctorate, a PhD in industrial organizational psychology. So I pretty much know um, what both are, what both kind of programs are like and what whether you should invest money or time in a PhD versus a master's. A master's degree is really more for practitioner. Um, if you're looking to get into the industrial organizational field and you're just looking to be a practitioner, you know, somebody who can take the research that is already out there and published and put it into practice in organizations, um, then look no further than a master's degree. If you're interested in research, or teaching graduate students in the future, then a doctorate is something to pursue because a master's degree, like I said, they may in some programs talk about or go into research, um, but there's just not enough time to really do a really good research study um, and do all of the courses that you need to take. So they mostly focus on how to apply the research that's already out there, not so much on you performing research yourself. A doctorate is focused on not only helping you to learn how to apply the research in the field, but also how to be a scientist, how to contribute to the research that's already out there, how to contribute to the literature, fill gaps in the literature, um, and then apply that literature to the field. It also teaches you um, enough so that you can teach other people. So a lot of, a lot of um, graduate school professors have doctorate degrees. I don't know of any who just have a master's degree. If they do, I would assume they have a lot of field experience, um, but mo but I think every, every teacher that I had had a doctorate. Um, so if you're interested in teaching in the future, you probably wanna go into a doctorate. The next thing to think about is external consulting or internal consulting. If you want, if you're envisioning your future as um, working within an organization, um, as an internal consultant or an HR or as a talent acquisition di director or whatever, but working internally within a system, then a master's degree is something to look for. If you are envisioning yourself consulting externally, having your own firm or working within a firm that already exists, then you want to think about a doctorate. And the reason I say that is the um, firms that I know of that um, recruit IO psychologists, they all are recruiting um, people who have at least a doctorate, or not at least a doctorate, <laughs> people who have a doctorate. Um, and if they don't, they have to have a lot of experience um, in consulting or in HR or some kind of, whatever the niche is of that consulting firm, they expect you to have a lot of experience if you don't have that doctorate. So, if you are envisioning opening your own consulting business, then you don't really have to worry about getting a doctorate or a master's. I mean, not or a master's. You have to at least have a master's. I don't think anybody will take you seriously if you don't have at least that or a crap load of experience. Um, <laughs> but you don't have to worry about a doctorate if you're opening your own firm. Um, if you go on LinkedIn and you look up industrial organizational psychologists, you'll see a lot of people who have just master's degrees and they call themselves psychologists, industrial organizational psychologists, because there is no guidelines as far as whether you can call yourself that or not in a lot of states. Um, so people who have master's degrees are often calling themselves that, but if you look in their profile, you'll see that they only have a master's degree. And then there's also people with doctorates who are also have their own firms or they work within a firm and things like that. So really think about your future. Think about what do you want to do? Do you want to work internally with an organization? Do you want to start your own business? Do you want to work externally as a, as a um, consultant? Things like that. And that's going to really help determine where you should go. So those are my quick tips for deciding whether you want to do a master's or a doctorate in industrial organizational psychology. Um, if you like this video, then like it, subscribe for more content, and leave questions in the comment sections if you have them. Thanks. Bye.